Yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to playing at Kilsyth again today. Obviously, a place that I grew up playing, um, and I think that it's kind of made me the person and, and basketballer I am today. So I credit this uh, stadium and the people in it to um, you know the way I play today. Just to you know be playing in front of friends and family and. Obviously, an association that's um, linked into the southeast and to represent the southeast at an NBL level um, in my home stadium, I think that's going to be pretty special. I definitely had a you know hurdles. I don't think anything is just a breeze. Um, I think for me, it was more. I guess a mental thing of being a smaller guy, um, having people doubt you in terms of your physique and your, your style, um, I think it was something that actually, it kind of moulded me into the player I am in terms of having that chip on your shoulder. Something to prove, every time I stepped into a gym I wasn't necessarily the first guy someone, someone looked at, but eventually I wanted to, to make sure I was and I wanted to prove myself every time I came on the floor. Uh, so I think it, as much as that was my hurdle of, of getting over that, uh, I think it actually, in turn, was the best thing that ever happened to me and uh, wouldn't change it for the world. A bit of a, a story, I remember my mum driving me to a game one time and we were playing the top team and I thought we're going to get smashed right now by 30 points. Um, and I was kind of, you know, wheezing in the car a bit and mum just did a U-turn. She said, well, we won't go to the game if you're not going to give any effort. So that was one that, I know it's such a simple thing, but it kind of just hit home with me in terms of effort that that was my way of, one, repaying my parents and people that come and watch me, but also myself, that, that all the hard work, I'm not going to show up and not give effort. So in terms of a chip on my shoulder, I guess it's just an effort thing every time I step on the floor. Try and be a bit of a leader where I can, especially when I've got the ball in my hands. Um, and if not, if I'm you know, on the bench or wherever it is, just you know, continuing to stay vocal and helping guys out. Yeah, and, uh, Most f***ing dangerous part of a game. 14 points up with time on the clock because there's a, 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 an element of I'm going to get mine, I want to try something that I wouldn't normally do in a two point game. Um, there's a relaxation that goes on mentally, it's, su it's subconscious for some people, some guys don't fall for it but there's a habit in basketball to say 14, they'll die, we'll go out to 20 and you know there's a natural way that this game will end. It's not. The natural way of the game when it goes out to 20 is because you stay ruthless and you keep, to, keep executing. I know you've got a clear run to the rings, that's fine, but just as we go over our rules a bit, um, I think that's a little bit different because you've got a clear run, but typically you'd be coming through that elbow. Yeah. So as you come through that elbow, we're already putting out that fire of that transition because you're right on that guard. You know what I'm saying? So in terms of rebounding position, that, that'll start our trans D. But I think it's tough because you do have a clear run to the rim, so I see what you're going after. Mm -hmm. But just in general, um, our rules, I think, put that fire out a bit. So I probably picked up a ball, I reckon, when I was four or five years old. My older brother um, started playing basketball and he was kind of my hero growing up. So that's where it kind of started. And then um, started playing for Kilsyth representatively in the nursery squad, which is an under 11 squad. So I was nine years old, my first rep year. Um, and right the way through, I uh, played to Kilsyth all the way up into the Siebel team, which is now NBL one. So yeah, it's just definitely a, a family spot for me, somewhere where I've got lots of memories and um, I guess somewhere where my basketball journey started and you know me as a person, as a player, uh, I think everything was kind of meshed from that Kilsyth uh, stadium so I'm really looking forward to getting back there and, and playing again. Oh, I mean it's a bit of a dream come true, you know I was here as a 11, 10, 11 year old um, with seeing other guys name on the wall and to follow in their fo footsteps is amazing. Um, a little bit surreal when you see your own face up there, um, but no, it's, it's absolutely awesome. A uh, place I like to call home. It was somewhere I'd spent mornings, nights at, straight after school, I'd be down to Kilsyth shooting. Uh, especially once we got to 18s and above, and I was doing both 18s, Youth League, and Siebel. Um, there was a lot of hours spent there. There you go, see, so you stole my locker. 
yours, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. Give him a thick text, mate. I think it kind of moulded me into not only the player I am, but I think the person I am. I think that community sort of thing is something that I really value, and Kilsyth taught me that. Yeah, I got a little surprise for people that bought a ticket to today's game. Pretty, uh, pretty excited to let everyone know. I think it's just amazing the support in this community, which I which is why one of the reasons I think that Phoenix is just going to absolutely take off in terms of that brand and that community vibe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your Kilside home of Limit Middle number four. Hey guys, uh, thanks for coming down. First of all, uh, being a kid type kid, I just wanted to do something to give back to the local community here. Um, we're going to give you a free ticket to the first home game against the Brisbane Bullets. So, uh, the ticket is coming for you. Yeah, hard work. One, two, three. Hard oh, work. Something that's just awesome to see that so many people turn up and whether it's for me or the team or whatever. And I think that any time that you have that, especially from somewhere where you grew up and lived, I think it's a reflection of, you know, I guess what you'd want to be seen as and perceived as. Pretty awesome to sit here in front of family and friends. Um, had a little moment before the game that was good and just sat there and thought, oh wow, this is pretty cool.